Amending and enhancing a myriad of bills will comprise the Davis administration's legislative agenda when Parliament resumes from its summer break next month. The Attorney General specifically detailing the list earlier today and explaining how each bill will enhance Bahamians and the country in general. Carla Palmer reports from the Office of the Prime Minister's weekly press briefing. Honey, everything okay? Uh, everything's fine. Shop online for free in-store pickup in two hours or less. Attorney General and Minister of Legal Affairs, Senator the Honorable Ryan Pinder, is not only boasting of the government achieving all it set out to do in its initial parliamentary agenda, but adds the public can expect a similarly aggressive legislative agenda when parliamentarians return to the House following their summer break in September. Top priority, fiscal reform, the Fiscal Responsibility, Procurement and the Public Finance Management Acts. Uh, those are all in train and those are anticipated to be available for public consultation by the end of this month. Uh, the public procurement bill, uh, initially we looked to amend certain, certain aspects of that that we found uh, troublesome. Uh, once we uh, were looking at it in more depth, uh, we figured a full rewrite of that legislation was necessary in order to provide more transparency but ease of administration and, 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 and ability to govern effectively uh, on that bill. Uh, on the fiscal responsibility and public finance Management Act, uh, we look to combine those pieces of legislation uh, to be able to properly administer uh, the public reporting that is required, but also in line with preparation of the budget and, and the fiscal years of the country. Right now, they're, 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 they're separated in legislation, they're separated in procedure, and they're separated in time frames, and, and, and that has posed uh, certain difficulties. The Attorney General also regards health care reform as another crucial legislative block. Uh, we certainly, you would know, have tabled the nurses and midwives bill already, and that's, that, that's posed for debate. That's supposed to expand uh, the scope of nurses, the scope of midwives, uh, continue, uh, provide for training, registration, regulation, and to provide a modern framework for nurses and midwives in the country. We've, we've seen instances over the course of the last year where we do have a shortage in nurses in the country uh, for a variety of reasons. We've had to tap into some of our regional neighbors to help supplement that shortage. Uh, but we want to bring the, the framework um, into a cutting-edge, modern-day facility where we can properly address the health care concerns, and particularly with respect to nurses and midwives. In the last legislative session, the government tabled the mental health bill, which he says will go to the public for consultation. Add to that a bill to enhance national insurance. Uh, to bring in the national health insurance scheme more in line with what we're doing. Consultations with the industry have already been underway on that, uh, and that bill is almost ready to, to, to go to the public domain and to be, be tabled in Parliament. And then there is legislation surrounding the regularization of marijuana and cannabis, with specific concentration on medical marijuana. That bill, uh, the first draft of that, has been uh, provided to me. I provided initial comments back, and that bill has been sent to our international consultant for their review. Uh, they've assured me I'd get their comments back by the beginning of next week, which will be collated, and then we'll do another turn of that bill uh, and get it ready for public consultation. One bill that will not encounter public consultation, though, is the Nationality or Citizenship Bill that's focused on granting equal rights. In fact, A.G. Pinder says a second referendum on the issue will not be conducted. Look at what happens in referendums. A lot of times the right thing doesn't get done. We are about governing for the right thing. We will do it and do what is correct. And, and the judgment in my instance is that in this we go by legislation. And that, that's just my opinion. Now, now, I have detractors in that opinion. I, I get that. And I have people with contrary opinions. That's fine, too. Everybody's entitled to their opinion. Um, but that, that is the opinion of my recommendation to the Prime Minister. From that lengthy list, the government is seeking to have these bills tabled, debated and passed over the course of the next six to nine months. For the Bahamas Tonight, I'm Carla Palmer.